what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i want to talk about halloween kills and a couple of things regarding halloween kills one regarding this rumor that apparently is being spread about a october 31st halloween release straight to netflix um that would put that would actually put the film two weeks after its theatrical release um this is coming apparently from F fandom empire i'm not saying that's actually the case because i was trying to find the stream i'm just going off of this screenshot that you see on your uh, on the screen right now it says that it's believed that universal pictures and netflix are currently in talks to stream halloween kills on netflix starting october 31st two weeks after its theatrical release it will be an alternative option rather than going the pvod route we are not saying it's happening we are saying that this is what one of our sources have heard could it happen sure to miss out how much money they can get we'll see how stupid netflix is going to be so this is coming that comment there is coming from fandom empire apparently i was trying to find the video where they talk about it if you find that video please link it down in the comment section because i would like to watch it myself but just a comment on this whole thing with it going straight to netflix after two weeks i mean honestly you as a fan do you care so i feel like fans are going to be watching the movie in theaters for the most part two weeks ahead of time anyway i honestly think that if there are no future delays that come like what has happened with clifford prior to the halloween kills release in october i think halloween kills is going to be just fine during its first two weeks in theaters anyway especially amongst horror fans that have been waiting for this movie since last year after it got delayed so what i would expect is despite it going to netflix two weeks after its theatrical release it won't necessarily be a big deal to those diehard horror fans and maybe even the general public because i feel like this movie again will be a box office hit so coming out on netflix two weeks after it's released just to stream and i guess still being in theater simultaneously i mean if you want to wait that long go ahead and watch it on netflix but I, I feel like the most of us especially the majority of you who probably watch me i think you're going to be right there in theaters during those first two weeks anyway you'll probably have seen the movie before halloween comes anyway <laughs> or what you'll do is even if it still goes to netflix on halloween you'll go straight to the theater on halloween night if you're someone who wants to do that and you'll watch the movie in theaters like that you won't wait to just watch it at home on netflix especially if it's something you've been waiting to see on the big screen since last year when it got delayed unfortunately i i don't care one way or another about that if it happens it happens the other thing i want to talk about was the leak of the soundtrack that happened fandom empire confirmed this in one of their recent streams i did look at that so if you watch that video you know what i'm talking about the soundtrack and the track list did leak i don't know all the tracks titles off the top of my head they one of them i believe was called unkillable some of them are said to be very spoiler heavy so if you want to read them or find them out there on reddit or wherever you want to go find them at go do that yourself they the titles of them they do seem to be very spoilerish so again just go if you want to go look at this track list and hear this soundtrack because i think what has ultimately happened is those who have heard it in its entirety you can't hear it in its entirety anymore because it's been taken down but i may be mistaken and the whole thing could be out there in its entirety i just haven't been able to find it one track i did hear was unkillable for the most part since this is legit that did sound great that score sounded amazing it does sound very different but it does sound great i can't wait to see how that how that score uh enhances a lot of the things that are going to be portrayed on screen since we know this is going to be a very emotional ride of a film from the way it's been hyped up and we know this is going to be a very action-packed film very much mob mentality so i can't wait to hear how these how these scores that john carpenter and his son have come up with only enhance the experience that you'll get watching it on the big screen in theaters or if you decide to wait for it to apparently come out on netflix when you watch it on netflix on halloween night so going back to the whole netflix thing if it does that do you as again you as the fan we're not profiting off of this we as fans are not the ones profiting off of this do you as a fan even even care would you still not would you not go to the theater if you're someone who is willing to commit to go back to theaters if you feel safe of course doing that if you're someone who's already committed to going back to the theaters and there's no issue for you are you going to wait until october 31st to watch this at home i feel like even if you are going to wait till october 31st you're waiting until october 31st to go watch it in theaters not watch it at home on netflix 
So again, I don't think us as fans will really care if that happens. If it happens, I feel a lot of us would still find it exciting. If you're someone who doesn't feel safe going back to theaters, this would be something that's a positive for you. Now you don't have to wait a long period of time to watch this movie or wait for it to come out on VOD for like more than a month or two. You only have to wait a couple weeks. So I know that would be exciting for you guys. Don't want to discredit you. But for the people who, again, are just fine going to theaters, I don't think you're going to care. And with the whole Netflix how much money they can make out of it. it to the best of my knowledge i was under the impression there was already a deal established between universal and peacock as it relates to movies coming out in 2022 so this would be something that's very interesting to see unfold if it actually happens because i believe universal films are set to be the tw as it relates to the 2022 slate there's some some deal already in place regarding peacock i don't have all the details to discuss that here in front of me but i believe that's what's been reported in the past several weeks or days as it relates to universal pictures and them acquiring or or striking a deal with one of these streaming platforms being peacock and it's and it, as it relates to their 2022 slate of films that they have coming out i know a lot of us cannot wait for halloween kills all these leaks that keep coming out about it i know some of you don't mind some of you don't care one way or another others of you are bothered by it me personally when it comes down to it like i said before i don't care if i know the film front ways or backwards i haven't read the entire script i've told you what i read i read that last little bit just to see how it ended to understand why a time jump will even be warranted i don't care even if i did read the script front and back i wouldn't care that's not going to be how i warrant or review the film if i know the film front and back so be it how I'm going to review this is how all of that is now executed on screen. It doesn't matter if I know it or not. How did this come off on screen? How was the acting? How was this? How was the direction? How was the the score implemented? How was the script? Was the script something that was e like coherent enough to be considered a good film? How was the direction? How was the cinematography? All of those different things that go into it. I don't really care if I know the film frontwards or backwards going into it already. I need to see how it's executed. That's how I want to review it. Not off of a script that I read. Uh, but again, I've only read the ending. And I said that in the last video I did talking about what I talked about in that video. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. But all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.